Northern governors hails Eagles for dumping Namde Kano. Kingsley reports. Northern elders under the eggs of Coalition of Northern Elders for Peace and Development have thrown their weight behind an Igbo presidency in 2023. In a statement signed by their national coordinator, engineer Zana Goni, and the national women leader, Hajia Mario Bichi, the group insisted that the Igbos of Southeast should produce next president to maintain the culture of rotational presidency between the North and South, which they said has helped a dose the political tension in Nigeria. We therefore recommend that it be continued for now for the good of the Federation. The statement quoted the Northern elders as saying, their position, they explained, was born out of the need for all component parts of the country to be fairly and equitably treated in the nation's political affairs. The Northerners elders disclosed that the Igbos have been marginalized in the scheme of things in the country, appealed to both the ruling All Progressive Congress APC and the main opposition People Democratic Party PDP to field candidates of the Southeast extraction. On the other hand, the Northern Elders appealed to all other zones in the country to back the Igbos in their long quest to produce a president even as they vowed to canvass their position to all stakeholders in the Nigerian political project with a view to achieve Igbo presidency. The Elders said since President Bwari is from the North, the right thing was that after his eight years tenure, the next president should come from Southern Nigeria and since Southwest and South South have occupied the office in the current dispensation, the Southeast is next in line in the spirit of the rotation principle, fairness, equity and justice. This will bring an end to the manifest marginalization of the Southeast. This will foster national unity and also bring to a close the bitterness of the Nigerian Biafran Civil War, which has lingered for 50 years since the end of hostility and engender unity. It added, they thanked the elites and leaders of the Southeast extraction for not taking cessation as an option, despite the inglorious activities of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Mazet Namdekanu, which it accused of attempting to destabilize Nigerian unity by adding or hiding under the, the, the late Igbo presidency. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, who told them who told them that uh, that the Igbos are against Namde Kanu? Or who told them that the Igbos abandoned Namde Kanu? They okay. are deceiving themselves. See, let me just break the gene. Let me break everything down for, for you for you to, to understand. In Igbo land, in Igbo, the five southeast in the eastern region, as we speak now, 90% of the Igbos in the southeast in general are IPOP members are, and also are in support of Biafra naturalization. Do you understand now? They are in support of Biafran actualization. Okay? Why? Why 10%? 10% of them are the ones that are in support of, of um, Igbo presidency or, uh, 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 and what have you. Alright? So, let them stop wasting their time. Because in the Igbo, majority of them are in support of Biafran freedom. 
what makes you feel or think that Biafran has been able to be actualized up to this stage? Is it not just because of the support, because of the enormous support gotten from these Igbo leaders? We have many of them in Nigeria and also in diaspora. They are not aware. They are still very ignorant. It, it, um, just of recent, Wazurike was very, very angry, saying that the Igbos in diaspora are funding Namdekanu to pursue Biafra actualization. Why won't they? We have capable people. See, in as much as IPOP is not in support of Biafran actually it's not in support of Igbo presidency. I tell you that you people are wasting your hell fucking time. You're wasting your time. Yes, yeah, so you're wasting your time. Because who is going to vote for you? Who is going to vote for you? And the nonsense that you are talking about, do you think they are they are going to accept the Igbos to become presidents? It is only the coalition, the, 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 the Northern Elders Coalition that are in support and they are showing their support. Do you think that these Northern Elders can be able to convince their fellow Northerners? In Nigeria, we, 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 are, we have it in record that Katsina have the highest population of people, followed by Kaduna. Do you understand? Now, can this not an elders be able to convince these people to vote for the Igbos in 2023? It's not possible. Coalition, coalition, it cannot work out. Let us stop deceiving ourselves. These people will not vote for the Igbos. They are deceiving you. You understand? So, the, 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 that is why Mazinam the Kanu is saying that you should stop wasting your time, that the resources you want to waste in supporting Igbo presidency, why don't you plumb that resources into pursuing and actualizing of the Biafran freedom? I that is doing this broadcast, I am not a Biafra. I always say it because when you listen to my broadcast, you'll be thinking that, oh, this man is a Biafran. Please, 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 let him go get out. I am not a Biafra. Neither am I an IPOP member. But I am in support of the mission and vision of Biafran actualization because I believe in what they are doing, that what they are doing is right. What they are doing is right. You understand? So, my viewers, what is your take? Deem it free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.